All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am David Squeezanaki, and we are here gearing up for, of course, what we call Cruising with a Case Handler, a show that is obviously on uh, injury and also, of course, immigration. I want to say thanks to each and every actually tuning in. And we come your way each and every single weekday morning at around 9.30 a.m. on 93.5 WVIP FM, which happens to be here in New York. All right. I speak with my colleague and a dear friend of mine by the name of Adam Handler. Um, it truly, in my words, I would tell you that he is truly the, the top attorney when it comes to personal injury in New York. Not because he has settled with over $125 million, but more so because of how he treats his clients, how he takes care of his clients. And he has just joined me right here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, just wanted to grab my remote here. This is real show, okay? Get my light on. But just wanted to say that he is really the best when it comes to the personal injury atmosphere. Now, attorneys can't say that. But of course, the true success stories can say that. And I can tell you, he's no joke, all right? He really believes in taking care of his clients. I mean, how many attorneys call up their clients and tell them, wish them happy birthday, wish them Merry Christmas, you know, all of that? Not many. And they can do it on the same day. There you go. There you go. And guess what? This guy's born on the 25th of December. All right? All right? I am the Messiah of the personal injury world. I'm that's declaring what, it right now. That's what I'm talking about. You truly are, man. Believe me, you really, really, really are, you know? And I want to say thanks to you, man, for what it is that you have done for so many people. So welcome to your show, Cruising with a Case Handler. How are you doing today, my attorney friend? What are you settling this month? What are you settling next month? Who are you helping? Who got hurt in an accident? Who got you so pumped that you are ready to roll out? Uh, listen, uh, we have uh, a big case on today, a uh, pedestrian that was hit by a cab um, and suffered a fracture to her left knee and wound up having surgery to her left knee um, as well. Uh, this is a case that, you know, it's been going on for way too long because the cab companies, and I'll say it publicly, uh, are insured by some uh, very, very difficult insurance companies. It's not like the Geico's and the Allstate's and the Progressive's and the Liberty Mutual's of the world. Uh, the cabs in New York are generally represented and insured by uh, a very small select uh, a group of companies, uh, insurance companies, and they are just... Uh, they're impossible. They, they really are. This is a case that should have settled a very long time ago, a case that was scheduled to go to trial, but unfortunately was put on hold for the pandemic. And we're going to be meeting with the judge today virtually to see if there's something that can work out. But I am adamant at this point that I don't want anything less than the maximum for my clients. So even if they offer me $5,000 less than the maximum, you have my word squeeze. I am not taking that settlement. I know you're not. Okay. I remember back in the days, man, way back when, when you were with another firm and I was telling one of your colleagues, I'm like, and that was 15, over 15 years ago. And I was like, the sun is not shining anymore if you get my drift. So why don't you let him handle it and let him litigate, let him fight. Okay. He's got the spunk. He's got the energy. I distinctly remember that conversation. And here you are today, man. It oh, was listen. one thing, you know, I, I was, I was at, um, going off on a tangent for 30 seconds. I was at a place in New York City called Babylon, which is a hookah lounge the other day. They, you talking. can smoke hookahs during Corona? They, they allow people to do that? They allowed it. I wasn't smoking hookah, but, you know. Yeah, were they, <laughs> exactly. Were they, were they like, like take a blowtorch and blow the hookah down when you're done? <laughs> exactly. Well, I was there, and I was, a, a, a girl was telling me about a situation that she went through recently. And she's from Algeria, and she's out of status. And she got into an accident. She ended up getting... $3,000 and she still, she has this huge scar on her knee. And I said, what happened? So the attorney said, this is what, this is what I, I, I'm going to get. And, and, and that's it. And I should take it because I'm out of status. And I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. That should never have happened to you. He got a settlement for three grand. I said, I'm sure my friend would have gotten more. However, she's like, well, can I, can I do anything now? No, I can't do anything now. It's settled. But anyway, and that's the response that, putting and, everyone and, onto you, man. You, you raise the, the point, you know, when you say that, when I say to you, I'm not going to take even 5,000 less than the maximum, because I understand that you got one chance to get it right. 
There, you can never, ever, ever reopen or redo a personal injury case. Once you sign on the dotted line and you get that money, however much it is or however little it is, you're done. Yep. Or if the jury comes back and awards you uh, a, an amount of money, whether it's a wonderful amount of money as I've obtained for, for, for you know, years and years and years for my clients, or if the jury says, no, you get nothing or you get a few bucks, uh, you, you're stuck with that. You're bound by that. So if you're ever in a situation that you need a help with an injury case, you better very, very carefully choose your weapons. My name is Adam Handler. I'm an attorney. I'm a partner of Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, and you listening on 93.5 FM, and you watching live on Facebook and Instagram and the other social media platforms are officially cruising with the Case Handler, a show we do every day consistently, 9.30 on the dot. Uh, we talk personal injury. We talk immigration. We talk about our full service law firm. You got a legal problem. We got a legal solution. You got a legal question. Guess what, Squeeze? What do we got? You got a legal answer. A legal answer. But you got to do one thing. All what? you got to do to get your question answered for 100% free. Let's, I, I can't even express to you how easy. I'm going to let you in a little secret. How easy it is to get your immigration question answered for free over the phone to get your real estate or matrimonial or criminal defense or employment law uh, question answered for free over the phone, or to ask, of course, uh, if you have a personal injury case for free over the phone. All you gotta do is one thing, and it's so easy. Take down this number, right? I'm gonna wait a second for everybody to either get their phones out or to get that pen and paper out or to, uh, you know, take that chocolate syrup on their table and, and write it on a napkin with their pinky. You're going to call this number if you need our help. Ready? 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. Or easy to remember, 844-PPID law. PPID is our firm. Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico, 844-PPID-LAW. The only way and the best way to be connected to attorneys that will treat you like family, not just a file, but will treat you like a friend that will take care of your case as if there was, they're fighting for their own brother, mother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, whatever it is, because that's how we do it here at the firm. That's why I joined this firm as a partner six years ago after leaving a prior law firm. This was the place I wanted to run my personal injury practice in. This is the environment I wanted to fight for my thousands of clients to make sure that the medical bills are paid, the time out of work is paid, and they're compensated for the pain and suffering that they've been through in the past and they most likely will go through in the future. 844-774-3529. We won't know you're out there unless you call us. So if that's important to you and you got a legal question, why sit right now and, 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 and struggle in your mind or, or, or stress over it? I've got a call from somebody the other day. Yeah, I finally heard your advertisement. I've been stressing over this situation with my immigration case for the past four months. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have any money to speak to a lawyer. So I called the firm. I got the free consultation. And now I know where I stand and I can sleep easier at night. That's the wonderful thing of what we're doing right now. Giving back to the community squeeze that has given so much to myself and so much to this firm over the years. Absolutely. Now, here's what I want everybody to do. By the way, folks, this is not a tape. It's Wednesday, October the 14th. It's 9.37 a.m. Here's what Adam just addressed you out there and saying, take his number down. Now, I need some energy. My brothers and sisters, genuinely, I really care for my people. I worry for my people, all right? And I'm, I, and I'm telling you, every one of us need to have his number. And I'm giving you his number because one day we may need it, even if it's not for you, for someone else. So here's what, he just handled everybody else. These are the people I wanna call right now. Adam just handled everybody else. Every single person that's in their car right now, anybody who drives, anybody who has a driver's license, I want for you to call because when you're driving, you know, I'm not worried about you with your driving. 
I'm worried about the other. Uh, I can't say that name on the radio. I'm worried about the other person. All right. That's going to make the mistake. That's going to run into you. That's going to screw you over. That's going to cut you off. That's going to T-bone. That's the person I'm worried about. But I'm also worried if you don't have the right number in your phone. So everyone that owns a car, everyone that has a driver's license, everyone that's in their car, I'm not going to continue until I see you start calling Adam. I want his phone to ring, okay? And then you store his number. Let it ring for 10 seconds because I love you, he loves you, and we want to make sure you have the best personal injury attorney if you ever get hurt. So if you're out there, you own a car, you have a driver's license, you're in a car, no matter what, even if you don't own a driver's license, but you're in a car, you take a, a, a bus every day, dial this number, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Don't make me look like an ass in front of Adam. Dial his number now, 844-774-3529, okay? And said, hey, I just stored your number because I heard the big mouth boy squeeze on the radio, blowing you up, all right? 844-774-3529. Why are you going to store 844-PPID, Allah? I'm going to tell you why. Because you're not going to trust the guys at the top of the hour. Why? They have not done 15 consecutive years on the radio. They have not done $125 million plus. No. And of course, Adam is the kind of dude, he will call you every day if need be. If you get hurt, he's taking care of you. Call him now. Dial the number, let it ring 10, 15 seconds. It's 844-774-3529 because we all need a good attorney when we get hurt in an accident. 844-774-3529. Regardless of whether or not we're in status, out of status, we can get hurt. And if it's not even in, a, in an accident, a car accident, accident, another accident, construction accident, you still call him. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Adam, phones are ringing. Let's get to a true success story. Somebody that you helped to get moolah, money, because they got hurt. Absolutely. I was going to focus today um, on uh, city cases, uh, cases mm -hmm. in which you have to sue the city. Um, before we get to the, the, the examples of those cases that we've worked on, let's just talk about generally why and how you would sue the city of New York, okay? Um, city of New York operates the streets and the sidewalks uh, uh, within the five boroughs. Uh, they operate uh, buildings. Um, they operate bridges. They operate tunnels. Um, they do not operate the subway. They do not operate the buses. They do not operate mass transit. That is New York City Transit Authority and the MTA, a totally different, distinct entity than the city of New York. In fact, if you get hurt on the bus and you sue the MTA and the city of New York, the city of New York makes a motion to dismiss the case and they will be out. So, uh, you know, it's important to know the difference. But then again, you won't have to realize what the difference is because if God forbid you ever hurt in any of these kind of accidents, you're calling 844-774-3529. But the most common cases we have against the city of New York, okay, are trip and fall accidents. Accidents in which people are injured walking on the street or injured walking on the sidewalk in the city of New York. Now, one would think these are relatively easy cases uh, to prove, right? You're, you're on the city street, you trip and fall on a, on a crack. It's the city street. They're responsible, right? Well, squeeze, guess what? It doesn't work like that. The mm -hmm. city of New York has very, very special laws that protect them. And for good reason, because the city of New York has miles and miles and miles of roads and sidewalks that they need to maintain. So here's the catch. Here's what you got to prove if you're hurt on a trip and fall incident or accident on a street or sidewalk, you have to prove that the city of New York had prior written notice of that defect. So if you trip on a crack on the sidewalk, unless you can prove that the city had it in writing that that defect existed, somebody logged it into the 311 system or wrote a letter or a city inspector went out there and acknowledged it, you have 
no case. They are very, very difficult cases that, to prove because most likely the city is not going to have that prior written notice. But there are certainly many examples of cases that we have won that we were able to prove that the city was aware of the defect or here's the alternative, created the defect. If the how, city do you prove, how do you prove something like that, Adam? It's, it's extremely difficult. So the number, the first thing we do when a client calls and says, yes, I fell in the street or I fell on the sidewalk is we do what's called a FOIL request. FOIL stands for Freedom of Information Law. And basically you can send a letter to the city, to the records archive saying, I want all of your records, whatever they are, permits, um, complaints, inspections for let's say the corner of 42nd and Broadway. And hopefully within a certain a reasonable amount of time, they send you those results back and hopefully they're not picking out the things that are bad for them, right? It's, it's, a, it's a uphill battle. But sometimes you do get lucky and you can see that somebody had either complained about the defect or an inspector had gone out and said, this is dangerous, needs to be corrected, and it still hasn't, hasn't been corrected. Or like I said, the city creates the defect. So for example, if the city was you know, working on the street, they were paving the street or milling the street and left rough patches uh, in the street or forgot to seal certain manholes and created the condition, you could be able to prove your case against the city. But they are very, very difficult cases and more often than not turn out to be nothing. What I'm about cameras? Cameras can help prove the accident happened, but cameras aren't going to prove that the city had noticed. That's an excellent question. One would think, hey, a camera is pointing down on this giant pothole in the street, right? And it's the city's camera and presumably the city, somebody on behalf of the city is watching that camera. Not sufficient. The law says prior written notice. Prior written notice. So ladies and gentlemen, if, if you've got one of these situations in which you've been injured on the street or the sidewalk or one day, God forbid, you do become injured on the street and the sidewalk. When I say the choice of attorney is important in a personal injury case, that's an understatement when you need to go up against the city of New York, when the chips are stacked against you, right? And let's just talk about some of the cases that I've worked on. But, but before you go into that, uh, Adam, yes, one brother. thing I want to bring up, the statue of limitations. With yes, that's an, that's an excellent, excellent point. Thank you for pointing that's out. That's why you got me here, man. You know? <laughs> Listen, that's why we pay you the big bucks. <laughs> there you um, go. <laughs> statue of limitations. Well, what is the statute of limitations? The statute of limitations is the time period in which you have to file, which you are allowed to file against a negligent party. In normal circumstances here in the state of New York, the statute of limitations for a civil suit involving negligence is three years. So for example, if you fall on a private landowner's property, you got three years to sue them. If you're hurt on a construction site, you got three years to sue them. If you are in a car accident, you got three years to sue them, all right? But if you have to sue the city of New York, your statute of limitations is greatly reduced. By that, I mean, you need to file number one, what's called a notice of claim. If you're hurt and it's the fault of the city of New York, within 90 days, you must file a claim with the city, letting them know the who, the where, the what, the how, and the when. If you don't put them on notice within 90 days of your accident, you are done. You cannot file a claim. And then after that 90 days, after you've already filed the claim with the city in that first 90 days, and after the city has conducted an interview of you about how the accident happened, which we actually had one yesterday, we'll talk about that. Then you have one year and 90 days to sue from the day of the accident. So it's a year and 90 to sue the city. It's three years to sue a public entity. And if your lawyer doesn't know what they're doing and doesn't know who they're going after, whether it's a public entity or a private entity, you are playing with fire. Because once that time period expires, SOL stands for statue of limitations. Really? Let's squeeze. It could also <laughs> stand for something very differently. What else does SOL stand for? Sheesh. Out of luck. <laughs> exactly. If you don't file within the SOL, you yeah. will be SOL. Yeah. So uh, excellent question. And, um, you know, listen, just another, another reason why these city cases are just 
you know, really, really difficult to work with. And, and also, you know, normal insurance companies, they're a business. You know, they see a problem, they want to pay you off and get rid of it and settle the case and be done with it. The city, they don't care. You know, listen, they don't no, have they don't. limited resources. Right. Uh, they will take this case to trial and drag it out as long as possible and pay you, you know, what they, they, they deem to be fair in a settlement. And a lot of times that's not what we take. You know, they call it the city discount. You know, maybe a case against a private uh, person would be worth a million. The city may want to pay 250 or 300. And a lot of people take it. Listen, there are there are risks again when you go against the city. So we, we make that evaluation. But you know, don't take my word for it. Squeeze. Let, let take the word uh, of those individuals that have come before uh, come before you. Come before the people uh, listening to this. Hey, let's show. get one of the true success stories. Yeah. Well, let's talk about let's talk about the uh, the biggest one we have on our on our website right here. That's the million nine fifty. This was a this was a tough case, but an excellent result. Um, we won uh, nearly $2 million for our client, $1,950,000. And knowing you squeeze, you're going to say, well, why'd you leave the 50 grand on the table? Why couldn't you get through 2 million? Dude, this case, the city didn't want to pay a dime on it. When we first brought this case to the city, they wanted to pay nothing. They said, go ahead, prove your case against us. Prove that we had prior written notice of a defect. And you know what we did squeeze? What? We were able to prove that. And that's why they went from zero to a million nine fifty within a couple of years. So that's hold on. So from zero dollars to a million nine fifty, how did you make that happen? Before I, I read that, well, we went to this. We went to trial on this case. We actually were in the middle of trial, beating them up, uh, and, and then they offered a, a settlement mid-trial. I remember I had a witness for the city on the stand, mm -hmm. and I was grilling him about how it's possible that this defect existed on the street how we were able to prove that they had been to this specific location for a mul in multiple occasions within the years preceding and did nothing to fix it. And in fact, we found buried in the record, a small little note saying defect on the catch basin at the corner of, I forget the name of the, Beck and Leggett Street in the Bronx needs to be fixed. And they buried it within like, 3,000 different other reports in that area and we found it and that was the needle in the haystack we need because we could prove they had the prior written notice and that's how we were able to win the case. Let's look at uh, these pictures right here. You can see, uh, I, I wish I can click on it and, and zoom in, but we can't. Um, and by the way, for the people on the radio, sorry to interrupt you, Adam. For the people yeah. who are listening to us on the radio, we're actually on Facebook. So if you want to see what's going on, you can go to Adam Spage the case handler, just put that in there and it will pull it up and you can actually see the accidents and see what's going on, all right? Very, very important that you watch it, all right? And yep. see why he went from zero to over a million, well, close to two mil, all right? Go ahead, Adam. Yep, so this was um, a catch basin. A catch basin is one of those sewer grates at the, at the corners or on the side of the streets where the water runs into. Um, well, all around that catch basin, the, the pavement was broken in uh, and, and, um, and, and, and caved in. And our, our client was stepping off the sidewalk, uh, didn't uh, notice that he was essentially stepping into a hole, which was a whole nother issue. They were claiming he should have been looking. Uh, and his leg went all the way down uh, into the street and he fractured his femur. His femur, is that's, that, that's the biggest bone in your yeah. body. That's that thigh bone that you have, crack. Uh, required a surgery, um, very, very serious injuries, uh, 18 months of, of therapy. Um, and uh, I remember it was a no pay by the city. They said, you're not gonna be able to prove your case against us. Then eventually the trials began, they offered 150. I said, there's no way we're taking 150. And we wound up settling that case a few days later during trial for 1.95 million. Now that was a very special case for us because that was actually rank squeeze. And you can see on the website. Number four, yeah, I that see that. The number four settlement in 2016, your boy, Adam Handler, the case handler, got the fourth largest settlement wow. for a trip and fall accident in the city of New York in 2016. That's that's, wow. that's big stuff, man. That's big stuff. The, the, the number one, the number two, and the number three were multi-million dollar uh, settlements involving a death of somebody, um, a loss of an arm by somebody, 
and a, a multiple spinal surgeries by somebody. So very, very serious cases. And I was very proud to be uh, number four in that. If you do you remember years ago, Squeeze, I was actually the number one verdict for the automobile accident. Oh, yeah. I remember that? And they did a whole yeah. feature in New York Magazine. $2.55 million verdict was the number one verdict for a car accident case um, several years ago. And that was uh, that when that we got that news that my verdict was the number one verdict in New York State. Wow, that was a party. You remember that? What? Remember? I remember that, man. I remember that. That's the reason why you're the man. You know, I keep telling people that you're the man. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you you guys hear me talk a lot here and run my mouth on the radio, talk about my life. You know, yeah, we're playing some more music now. But honestly, and I'm being very genuine with everybody that's out there, and including the broadcasters and everybody. My job here on the radio is not to play music. My job here on the radio is to convey the message of excellent verticals, verticals that will change your life. And the most powerful vertical that I have right now on my program, program happens to be the law firm of PPID. And why do I say that? Because yeah, I could fix all the credit in the world. I could send you all the buy life in, in the world. But ladies and gentlemen, every single human being here in the tri-state area needs a good law firm. Every single one of you out there need a good attorney. God forbid you get hurt. Now you see what Adam just spoke about? This is not about accepting a settlement from the city. This is about accepting the right settlement from the city. They're offering 150K. Yeah, I'm paying attention, Adam. And you said, no, 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 no to 150K. Now, most people, listen carefully, people, every day we're walking around and we're tripping and we're falling. Most law firms don't even want to take on the city. They don't. They don't want to deal with the city. They don't want to deal with the pain. They don't want to go deal with all the work. And I'm going to tell you why. Adam didn't say it, but I know it. A lot of law firms out there are all about the quick money. If it's not quick, down and dirty, they don't want to deal with it. Adam, he will do a complete analysis of your case and said, hey, we know dealing with the city is a pain in my ass, but I believe you have a good case. You genuinely got seriously injured. I will do the legwork because guess what? If Adam doesn't get a settlement, he doesn't get paid, but he's the guy that will take the calculated risk, something that I do all day long. He will take the calculated risk and said, you know what? This person deserves the best. He could simply take the little cases and say, okay, this is down and dirty and leave the ones that require him having his team go get the records here, go get do the due diligence, subpoena this person, subpoena that person, get that camera, go all the way back. Most law firms don't want to do that work. Adam Handler, the case handler, the shark will do that work. Why? Because he knows he will be successful. So ladies and gentlemen, it is a reason why I say to you, dial his number, take his number. You ever get hurt, whether it's trip and fall, medical malpractice, construction accident, automobile accident, we all need to have his number. So on this day here, the 14th day of October, dial this number, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. There are other attorneys touting what they have done, all of that. Would you believe that in some of those cases, Adam Handler is the one who did the settlement? I'm telling you, this is no BS. A bulk of that. <laughs> a bulk of them. So, you know, he, he is the man, all right? So make that call, 844-774-3529. You know, new people get on and new people do this and everyone reserves the right to do the advertisement and all of that. But I am saying, go with someone who has proven to us that they can deliver over the past 15 years. Go with someone who has delivered $125 million to the Caribbean community and go with someone who is very honest and very straightforward and will answer your call when you make it. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Make the call to Adam Handler. Make the call to the firm. 
844-774-3529. Personal injury is what we spoke about today. And I want every single soul out there tuning in. I love you. So do me a favor. Dial his number. I care for you. So do me a favor. Dial his number. I want for you to have the best attorney. And that's in my opinion. He's truly the best. 844-774-3529. Adam, your firm handles immigration. Before we get to the top, what do you want to give them for free? Consultations. I mean, listen, we don't charge for advice over the phone. It's something that we uh, began uh, in early in this pandemic when we realized that times were tough and people were home and didn't know where to come and uh, where to go and, 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 and speak with attorneys. So ladies and gentlemen, if you've got a legal question, I can't stress it enough. If you've got a legal question, we've got a legal answer. And the consultation over the phone, first time, we're not gonna do multiple consultations over the phone for free, but the first consultation is 100% free. I actually had a call yesterday from a guy calling for that free consultation. He was calling for immigration, but he calls and I pick up, I go, good morning, uh, Adam Handler. He goes, is this the Supreme case handler? <laughs> Blessed good morning, uh, Supreme case handler. I'm like, what am I running a cult here? You know. I love that. But listen, all kidding aside, uh, we are a- You're uh, the Supreme Case Handler. I, am the Supreme <laughs> I like that though. <laughs> and uh, we, we do things very, very, very differently here. Uh, give us a try, give us a chance. You got one chance to get it right. And there's one choice of attorney. And that's why we say one chance, one choice. I'm your case handler, baby. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 774-3529 or don't even save the number. Don't even call the number. Google me if you get into an accident. Check out the case handler or the supreme case handler. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. It's 10 o'clock. Facebook watchers and viewers, thank you all so much also and everybody out there for tuning in and sharing and caring. Everyone on Facebook, we love you. We see you doing the work behind the scenes while Adam and I are doing the show. And please share. All right, once again, reach out to the firm, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and Seiko, whenever you need attorneys. The number, once again, is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Thank you all so much. Have yourself an amazing Wednesday. Hump day it is. <laughs>